All right, Trey, let's check out one of your uh, GS training runs up on Eagle Alley. Watch it in regular motion and slow it down. Zipper down the hill. Really? Fair course. Come a long way this year. A little uh, roll of little terrain there. Fun getting some air, but we want to try to you know maintain snow contact as much as possible in racing. We'll save that jumping for the terrain park. Um, just like with Solomon we we're talking about, we do have to um, not stand up as tall in transition. You come through, stand up really tall up on weight. You get your skis light at the top of the turn when in fact that's where you want to be pressuring them. So here you're pretty light when you're in rise line and that's where you want to start pressuring the skis. So you kind of skid and now you're pressuring them way down here. All right, so we got to make sure we don't stand up as tall, move more forward in the transition, not up. You can see how tall you get there. That's why I tell you it looks like you're, you're always sitting through the turn sitting down because you you go from a very tall stance to you know a, 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 a lower stance and you know, we get low by getting the feet off beneath us not necessarily bending over at the waist or sitting but uh, so let's move forward not up and we really got to just continue to work on committing to the outside ski this is very inside ski or two-footed you can see here you got weight on the inside ski kind of cheating with it get that going Again, stand up and then kind of bent over there obviously but let's try to you know like I said not stand up as tall we're gonna try to move get our our uh, skis up underneath us and drop the hip into the turn All right, as opposed to just sitting down right now you tend to sit straight down go, go tall Sit down. All right, so let's move the move the hip into the turn. A little better down there, which makes sense on a flatter terrain. Moving the hip in a little bit. Not so much on that side there, though. You can see when they, when they we don't move the hip in and we rotate the upper body. You know, the hip goes this way, the skis flatten out, and, and we skid, like you're doing there. All right, so as I said, improved a lot this year. Continue working on uh, really being foot-to-foot -foot skiing, uh, well, meaning like transferring the weight to the new outside ski when it's still your uphill ski in the transition, i.e. work on your up and over drill. Let's not pop up too much in the in the transition. Move more forward, then up. And let's try to get those skis off beneath us. Develop some better angles, some upper and lower body separation. Dropping that hip into the turn, so we don't see like you're kind of sitting down in each turn. I know it's a lot to work on, but I know you can do it.